bit of farewell reversal from last year. Celtic won the league, we won the cup. This year we won the league and an early exit from the cup against Celtic. It's a game, looking back at I should be self personally, even though we were better the first half, I felt we could have um, added another gear to, to what we're doing. Um, but the pivotal stuff happened in the second half, really. The penalty save from Dylan O'Malley and then Celtic's two goals. But how would you sum the game up? Um, yeah, the first half I thought we did very good. We were on top. We had better chances, but we just couldn't, couldn't finish them. In the second half, we started off slow and we never really got going in the second half. And the penalty was a good save, but their keeper, to be fair, Dylan struck the ball. The was a good save. And they got the first goal and after the second goal then it was always a long way back from there. It was a tough game, tough to tell. So um, Celtic, they kick on in this competition, but from our own end now, our focus now is now the FAI Junior Cup and the trip to Cal in a couple of weeks. Yeah, I think we're back in training and it's back tomorrow with the juniors. And uh, yeah, we'll be in Carol in a couple of weeks. And so yeah, I suppose another, there's always another game around the corner, and even though this is terrible in the solo, there's, there's always another game to go in, so focus on that. So, <laughs> Despite today, I'd say when you look at winning the league, winning all the games, I'd say you probably look back on that, on that show as um, being a success. Yeah, yeah, we obviously went on to win the United Park, and that was a big result for us. But um, I was disappointed today. We were the ones to do the job, and I think we were good enough to do the job as well. It was a bit unlucky, it didn't perform, it didn't perform as good as we thought, and it just came up short in the end. So. Many thanks. Last year we stole the cup of we stole the cup of Celtic. This year Celt Celtic steals the cup of us. When you look back on the on the display, I know we were the better team in the first half, but do you feel there was another gear or two in us over the match? Uh, no, I don't think so, Kenneth. Uh, I think um, I don't think we had control of the game in the second half. Mm. Um, we spoke before the game. And we spoke at halftime about being patient in their third of the pitch, and I think just we didn't have that patience. And when you don't have to con when you don't have the control of the game, it becomes an up and down game. And because it was an up and down game, it suited Castlebar Celtic because they don't play through the middle. They don't play with their midfielders. I don't know whether they don't trust them or not, but they just don't play with their midfielders. They they just kind of lump the ball up and chase seconds and uh, hope hope to make a mistake. Um, we had. I would say we could have been five or six goals up at half time. I think in the second half we probably could have scored another three or four. If you know if we had won the game maybe eight or ten nil, I don't think there would have been much of a surprise. Um, penalty miss came at a vital, vital time and it seemed to energise them. And you know, they were even more intense in their tackles and they were kicking the ball even higher and longer. And um, in the end a couple of mistakes and a couple of a bit of indecision. Um, they had two chances and they scored two goals we had 20 chances and we scored no goals and that's the killer about football um, and, and I did say that at one point during the stream that it could end up one of, the, one of being these games we create most of the chances but ultimately could end up losing it yeah and that's what happens and that's football can kick you in the arse and that's what happened to us today and it's just unfortunate that it happened at this stage but there you go the good thing about football is there's a game at some point in the future and the players can move on Indeed, and and of course, this is always going to be the tie of the first round in everyone's book. And I'm sure Celtic, they'll probably look at you now and they probably think this is their trophy to win. Yeah, it should be. Uh, I think I think I think other teams, uh, Joe Faulkner and Con Rangers, and I think uh, Ballyhane, even Ballina, might have something to say about that. But um, this was the tie of the round. We dominated. We created all the chances. And we didn't win. That's football. It's tough, it's tough, but you've got to take it on the chin and try and try and work out why it didn't work out for us and improve if we can. I'm sure the players will probably um, look back at the uh, field coverage when you send it on to them later on and they'll be um, looking at it and probably uh, analyse what they could have done differently throughout the game. Yeah, I thought... Uh, yeah, I thought in the first half Ted was very isolated up by himself and there was a big gap between him and our midfield and in the second half we tried to fix that. We tried to um, push our two wide players on a little bit so that Ted wasn't sort of trying to run around and try and... He, was, he seemed to be working 
in amongst five of their defenders. Um, we tried to push up a little bit higher and get Dylan up higher and get uh, get Jack up higher, and it worked to a degree. And then we just got caught with a sucker punch. And when you get caught with a sucker punch like that, the team that's the lesser team, I suppose, can sit back and try and soak up the pressure and take energy from all the tackles they win. And kind of that's that's what happens. That's what happened in the game. And I'm sure now for most of the lads, the next out is the trip to Carlo against New Oak in the Junior Cup. Yeah, and that's what I said in the dressing room. The good thing about soccer is, or football is, that there's always a game a couple of weeks away and uh, you can forget about the last one and uh, wish them the very best of luck in that one. Um, it could be Anthony and Michael and Michael taking that game and I wish them the best. A couple of things I would like to say, um, Kenneth, before I finish up. Um, I started with a group of these players 10 years ago. Harrison, Dylan, Ted, Killian White, Adam Nugent, uh, Quivin O'Toole, Dylan Duan uh, came in a little bit later. But I've, I've, I've had them now for 10 years and they're almost like sons to me. Um, and then you had the remainder of the panel came in, came in also. But um, it's, it's a sad day for me to kind of to say goodbye to them now because that's the end of took them at under 11s and this is under 21 really sad day but I've enjoyed their um, their company and the camaraderie and uh, just getting to know such fine young men and I wish them well in the future indeed and thanks very much thanks Kevin.